Hey, how's it going guys? This is Zedai here. So today I wanted to share my thoughts on the Summer Game Fest 2024. Now, I'll be honest and upfront. This showcase, I want to say even, was not really necessary. Honestly, I just, it didn't look exactly convincing to me it's to say like, oh my god, I'm looking forward to so many other games that out there that have been revealed here. Even the games that we already known that will be coming out, and not exactly that they changed my mind. So I want to go through the individual games that at least interested me, and by the way, yes, I'm purposely, I will be skipping out a lot of games, because I simply have no interest in them, or they just, like, completely disappointed me. And some, especially there's some trailers that just showcases the cinematic, or something that just doesn't have anything to do with the game and how it plays, then 100% I'm not interested. So, the first game that was announced and basically showcased within this, well, Summer Game Fest was a little bit of a surprise that, even though it was rumored, we already knew it would be coming, but we did not know exactly when. So, well, LEGO Horizon Adventures. Now it's coming on PlayStation 5, and we were expecting to see it here at least, maybe, in some cases, but nevertheless, this, like, LEGO games for me, they're not that interesting. And honestly, though, I have never really played a properly a LEGO game. But yeah, I don't know what to think of this about this. It's a very heartfelt, hearted kind of game. It's not, a lot less serious in tone. Actually, it's not serious at all. And yeah, I don't know this, what to expect out of this game with this trailer as well. And I hope it turns out to be good. Uh, also, I'm glad the way it's coming out sooner rather than later because, you know, waiting for this sort of a title in 2025, nobody would have been waiting at this point. <laughs> but nevertheless, yeah, I don't feel that I have any sort of attachment towards this. Horizon title in itself is a great title, right? Horizon 3 that will be coming out sometime in a few years. But nevertheless, you know, there's so many IPs and so many, not IPs, but so many games that are, are being developed that have an orientation around of Horizon, it just, oh man, it's a little bit too much, if that makes sense. But nevertheless, this LEGO Horizon Adventures did not really interest me. But I still wanted to mention here because there is a possibility perhaps maybe I could be, pick it up and play it. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't have thoughts about this basically, right? I don't have a reaction for this game, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna skip a lot of games and purposely, that genuinely did not interest me. I wanna get into it very quickly, I uh, mentioned Star Wars Outlaws. The only reason it was present here is basically to, to announce that Star Wars Outlaws is gonna get its debut and its trailer and whatnot during the Ubisoft's uh, forward showcase. It's yes, coming out, I believe, in two to three days. But yeah, nevertheless, this is... Star Wars Outlaws. I don't know what to say, because personally for me, I'm more excited for an Assassin's Creed Shadows instead of this, but I can understand why they decided to show this off, because it's coming out much sooner than the Assassin's Creed Shadows. You know, when they show off also Batman Arkham Shadow, man, I was so disappointed of seeing this, like, I was thinking to myself, and I even sang it out loud, why? Why is this a VR game? Why can it not be a main title continuation from Arkham series? My goodness, such a wasted opportunity. And I kept saying this to myself because I'm never going to play this VR game. And I'm sure a lot of people feel perhaps the same way as I do. And then after seeing how the developers went towards making a Suicide Squad and completely butchering their name and the titles as well, and then moving on from... <sighs> Arkham series, it's just such a bad call for real. And then seeing it here, it's just like a salt to the wound, if that makes sense. I wanted to touch on this game, uh, First Descendant. It's coming out in July, it's much, much sooner. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, like, this trailer didn't do much for me. And in, nevertheless, I still actually played the demo, like the beta or whatever. I have enjoyed myself uh, with this game. Uh, but I'm not too sure if I can cope with yet another <laughs> a looter kind of a shooter experience once again because like this tend to be very very grindy and this game is that like I the reason I'm mentioning it in this video as well is because I actually made a coverage a little bit breakdowns and stuff like that going over it and so I wanted to at least sprinkle it into this video. Oh, perhaps I should mention this because I'm sure a lot of people will be excited for it. I actually still have not played it. I'm talking about Alan Wake 2 Night Springs DLC. It's actually out, well, now actually, <laughs> you know, when I'm making this video. I actually wanted to sleep on this showcase and, you know, summarize my thoughts a little bit better. And not to be overly negative or op overly uh, positive about the showcase. Nevertheless, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are looking uh, forward to this DLC. 
and are very excited to play it. And yeah, uh, hopefully you guys are gonna have an, a wonderful time. There's so many games that are still present here, such as Skate, right? Like, I'm personally not interested, that's why I'm skipping on it. Valorant also been getting an announcement that's coming on consoles. Uh, there's also a, a an announcement for Among Us, the animated series that's getting, well, will be releasing Dune Awakening. This look kind of enticing. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I didn't even play the first one, so I can't really comment on this. Okay, now this is an interesting one. This is a very interesting one. Slitterhead. It's a it received some sort of somewhat of a weird gameplay trailer. What's interesting about this is not the game, but who is the creator? It's actually the same creator of Silent Hill. Hopefully, I'm not butchering his name. Keishiro Toyama, and basically he is well, he's the creator of this game. I'll be honest, this gameplay looks completely shit. It really does. It's completely unpolished, so many issues, problems. The environmental look does look good though, but the way the characters handle themselves, the animations and the motion and basically just the fluidity is all awful. It's a very bad look. In fact, I think they should have just delayed it, like, and not show off anything, not to act... Because, look, first impressions is everything, and my first impressions, the only reason I'm even mentioning this game in here, because I would have skipped on it. Because, well, Silent Hill creator, the guy is in here, that's the only reason I'm mentioning it. Other than that, this game looked like complete dork shit. But nevertheless, hopefully after more years of polishing, and I hope it actually will be getting a lot more years until it releases, because they already announced it's coming on November the 8th, 2024. And I'm just like, nope, this game is gonna die if you're gonna release it in the state that it is. Never, maybe I'm being a little bit too hateful about it, but nevertheless, just like, you got, you got such a big, heavy name tied towards this project and just releasing in a state that they showed off here because remember trailers that they want to show are always in the best the best of state and then you're saying it's going to be coming out in a few months oh my god delay this game killer bean that was a very interesting one kind of disappointed the fact that it doesn't seem like it's going to be coming out anytime soon at least we do not know killer bean looks awesome kind of like max Payne, kind of ridiculousness as well like, the concept is ridiculous, but the gameplay looked awesome, and I'm very much interested in finding out more about this game. I'm actually going to skip Monster Hunter Wells on purpose, because, again, I'm not really interested. I played Monster Hunter World and um, Iceborne? I Iceborne? I is that the name? And, yeah, it didn't really grip me. So, I want to Monster Hunter Wilds. With its first look towards its gameplay anyway, it did interest me a little, a little bit. And I like the way the main character actually bloody speaks, because that's the best part about it. If there's a mute character that is the main character, oh my god, I do not like that approach. Because, like, I never agree with the approach that Fallout or Bethesda games that release their titles with main character does not speak and he's a mute. I don't agree with that decision. Like, Fallout 4 decision, when our character could talk, that was the best decision to, that they made. Nevertheless, that uh, Monster Hunter Wilds getting a voiced protagonist, that's a very big plus, and I really, really do appreciate that. Nevertheless, I think that Monster Hunter Wilds will be very big success for a lot of people that already like Monster Hunter. And I, I don't know if this is going to be an enticement for the newcomers, because, well, so far it wasn't for me even though I'm not exactly a complete newcomer for this, uh, you know, this IP. Nevertheless, uh, let's move on. Oh, I completely forgot. Black Myth Wukong? How could I forget that game, right? Bas yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what to say. It's fantastic. <laughs> and I think that the best showcase and the best trailer, the best game that was in the Summer Game Fest was, without a doubt, Phantom Blade Zero. Phantom Blade Zero, with its snippets of gameplay elements within this game, it's within this trailer, it looks awesome. Like, very Souls-like, in fact, it's a lot more Souls-like than I anticipated. And thank you, because I did not want a, like, a slasher sort of experience, that mash of buttons and stuff. I did not want to have a completely linear experience, or just what they showed here, I'm super, super glad. It's so flashy, so awesome, so much is going on, so dark, so broody, and yet it's so appealing. And it looks awesome, especially the combat and the variety within the ways of destroying your enemies. Oh man, I cannot wait. Phantom Blade Zero, hopefully it'll come out sooner rather than later. And uh, yeah, nevertheless, uh, I just had a fantastic time watching this specific trailer. So yeah, overall, the... 
Phantom Blade Zero was the best game that I'm definitely be looking forward to. From a whole summer game fest, this game was the best, number one at least for me. Alright, well, the showcase was a bit of a disappointment, honestly. It's nothing special, maybe 6 or 5 out of 10. Uh, okay, hopefully you, um, uh, Xbox or Microsoft will do better. I'm not really holding my breath because a lot of the titles even there like a lot of people will be most anticipated games they still did not live up to the expectations but again that's just my thoughts anyway thank you again so much for watching like and subscribe i will have more videos up uh, especially regarding the microsoft's uh, showcase i'll have my thoughts about that and also including ubisoft forward showcase all right like and subscribe see you guys all and have a wonderful day